Okay. Today's project is going to be using all of the math that you've learned this week <clears throat> and putting it in one place. You can use a whiteboard, though you probably don't have one as large as mine. I have a giant whiteboard here. Oh, I love my whiteboard. And um, you can all try to fit it on your little whiteboard or some of you got the two pack whiteboard. You can put it on two whiteboards. You could also put it on big pieces of paper. You could also do it in nature. You could do a nature version outside. There's lots of options. So figure out how it works, works for you. You can display it any way you want. Yeah, you can rewind this, hear me say it again. You can display it any way you want. There are about a million ways to display math. There's no wrong way. So here's how you do it. First, no. oh, you should say hi to my son. This is Brayden. Hi, Brayden. <laughs> He's 16 and he drives. <clears throat> now, here's what you want to do. The first thing you have to make, number one, is an array. Remember we learned that word? A-R-R-A-Y. Array! That's a beautiful word. So the array is something that you need to know. So I'm going to include some videos to remind you of what an array is. Because we did that. We did an array, and then you went and did an array on Zern. You've done the array. Okay, that's number one. Number one is you have to make an array. You can watch the array video. Number one, array. Remember, this is our symbol for array. Array. Yeah, here is that. Array. Remember the array? So this is an array. On my whiteboard, I have magnets. So this is an array. I can set it up like this. And there's an array. It has one row, two rows of three. So one, two rows. And then it has one, two, three in each row. So this, I would say, would be two rows times three things in each row. Two times three equals, and then you would write your product. And product would be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So your job is to make an array. You can combine the array with number three, which is multiplication sentence. So I just made a multiplication sentence. You can also combine the array with an addition sentence. That's number two, the addition sentence. So the addition sentence, I should have done the multiplication sentence in red. I'm gonna change it. Red is the multiplication sentence. So my array was two rows, one, two, times, it's multiplication, three. One, two, three was in each row. Two times three equals, and my product is six. Now, I'm actually gonna change product to purple. Why am I changing product to purple? Can you figure it out? Can you look at my video and figure it out? Product is number four. Ah, you have to show products. My product is purple because my product is four. So I showed a multiplication sentence. I showed an array. I showed the product. I need to show the, uh, the addition sentence. So that's what I have to do next. I'm using my blue marker for the addition sentence. The addition sentence, I could use the same array that I made, or you could throw a different one. Your choice. It's all choices. Um, and I could do an addition sentence. So I know that I had two rows of three, but I also know that there's three two times. So my addition sentence could be three plus three equals six. Did you notice my mistake? I bet it's killing me right now. Mistakes happen in math all the time and it messes all the math up for later. It's not the mistake here. Three plus three is six. I did great there. In fact, that's what helped me realize. What's my mistake? Did I say two times three is four? Oh my gosh! Who does that? Me. I do it. I make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. So you just go, oops, and then you fix it. So I'm fixing mine. I, two times three is not four. I'm not sure what. I think you know what I was thinking. Number four was the product. Number four is the product, and I think my brain thought number four. Number four. See what I did there? 
it happens. Our brains are tricky little creatures and they just, we gotta use the whole thing. So taking a pause, I now realize three plus three is six, two times three, three, six, it's six. My purple product, I'm gonna hide the four so I don't see it. Product, purple, is six. Oh, that's blue. <laughs> see, mistakes happen all the time and they're just fine. Here's the purple, six. You can do it however you want. I'm just, I just did mine this way so you can see it. So I have done, let's see, I'm gonna check them off when I do them. Have I done an array? Yes, check. Okay, going to my bathroom. Have I done an addition sentence? Check, three plus three is six. Yes, and it makes sense, it matches my array. Okay, and you could do a bigger array, you could do whatever you want. Have I made a multiplication sentence? Two times three is six, yes. Check. Have I made a product? Do I have a product? Remember, show me. Product, yeah, the product is six. Yes, it is, the product is six. Yes, I can say check. Okay, so that is showing a lot of your math right there. Now you have to pick how you're gonna do a brick building. You have to do brick building like we did today, except for today we did it digitally. You could try to do a digital brick building. If you can figure out how, I will accept it, figure out how to submit it to me, and I will take it. Um, or you could do a brick building doing not digital. You could draw it out. That'd be fine, too. So I'm going to draw mine out since I'm doing my giant whiteboard today, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, <clears throat> now this is going to require a little bit of brain power. So you get a brick build using 2 by 2s 2 by 3s and 2 by 4s Good luck. I drew mine. I put mine red two by two, blue two by three, purple two by four. You can use any color you want or no colors at all. You can do it all in pencil, I don't care. Um, I did an extra challenge. I'm trying to draw a flamingo. <laughs> I did a brick building out of a flamingo because you know, flamingos are my favorite animal. So um, I did a brick building, but I, you know, I, I was thinking pink. So I, I'm doing them all out of two by twos. So you'll have to let me know if you think I nailed it. One thing I'm kind of learning in it is if you just do dots, it kind of represents the dots that are here. So if you want to use dots, you could do that. If you're drawing, if you're digitally doing it, you can do it different, but I'm drawing mine. You can figure out how you want to do yours. So the flamingos kind of have like a big hump, feathery back. So I'm just doing two by twos for those. And the final one will be like it's feathers right there, right? So. Then it has the legs. I was thinking for the legs, uh, since the legs are long, I would do a four by four, or that doesn't exist, does it? A two by four, <laughs> a two by four. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four rows, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I did. So see, it's like you're learning multiplication through brick building. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight, so two, because two by fours are eight, eight circles. So that's my flamingo. I made a flamingo out of my bricks. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, so that's one option. And then for extra challenge, you could count them. How many did you use? So I used one, two, let me use this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my gosh, I used 14. Two by twos. 14 two by twos. I used 14 two by twos. I did. And then how many of the two by fours did I use? I lost my purple pen. Here it is. Here's my purple pen. Um, I used just two. Two of those. Two. That was easy. So just two. And then what was it? It's a two by four. Two two by fours. So that's it. Now I'm counting all of them. So there you go. That's what I want you to do today. Good job. You can watch this as many times as you need it to get it right. Your job. Oh, I gotta check it off because I did it. I did the brick building. Check. Check. Your job is to do five things. Five things. You have to make an array. You have to do an addition sentence. You have to do a multiplication sentence. 
have to do a product and you have to brick build using two by twos, two by threes, and two by fours. Oh my gosh. So good luck. Have fun. This is what mine looks like. But you don't even have to do all that. You can just do like this would be what it looks like because you don't have to have all all checked off. But you could you could do the whole thing and like check them off as you go. So figure out what you want. Do you want to draw it on a piece of paper? Do you want to do it on a whiteboard? Do you want to do it out in nature? Do you want to do it on the computer? Figure it out. Good luck. It's going to take you a while. You have all day because it's Friday. And I wanted to spend some time with you. So you just got one-on-one -on -one teaching with Mrs. Rogers. Mm -hmm. In my house. I did it in my house. I teach from my house. Look at this. Yes. Rogers family. Here it is. The Rogers family. Here we are. Here's all my kids. Rogers family. <laughs> Love you. Bye.